Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Uh, welcome to another episode of Gate Over It with your host, Hugh Stroko. Today we will be covering gate rehabilitation following stroke. I will begin by briefly discussing what a stroke is, followed by looking closely at a patient to see how one's gait and locomotion is affected and finishing with rehabilitation techniques we use in our clinics. A stroke occurs when there is a lack of blood flow to the brain. The two subtypes of stroke are ischemic and hemorrhagic. In ischemic stroke, a blood clot occludes an artery affecting the brain, locking blood flow, preventing oxygen delivery. In hemorrhagic stroke, the rupture of an artery occludes oxygen delivery. Lesions caused by lack of oxygen are found in the areas affected in the brain. These affected areas generally are only on one side causing a unilateral stroke. On the opposite side is the affected limb. For this next part, I will be demonstrating a few post-stroke gait patterns. If you look closely at my foot and my leg, this video is showing drop foot and circumduction, which can be directly related to muscle weakness and sensory input loss. Stroke patients tend to favor their non-paretic side, with exception of pushing, where a stroke victim actually favors their paretic limb. As you can see, they also have adduction of the arm, flexion of the elbow, and flexion at the wrist, which can be a major problem in post-stroke patients in the event of a fall. In the event of a fall, you can see with these contractures in the arm, the patient would be unable to catch themselves from falling on the paretic side. Also. A change of support to maintain the center of mass is nearly impossible. Post-stroke patients are unable to take an extra step fast enough or take a large enough step to corral the center of mass within the base of support. This is caused by muscle weakness, sensory loss, restricted range of motion, rigidity, and general balance control impairments that are associated with stroke. We are now going to head over to my clinic to take a look at one of my post-stroke patients as a lovely therapist help her retrain walking. As shown, the therapists are assisting the patient through a normal gait cycle. Therapist 1 is helping her through a normal range of motion. She is holding the front of the knee and the upper thigh posteriorly to support the limb through the stance phase. During swing phase, she helps by lifting the lower limb, making sure there is a proper toe-off, dorsiflexion for foot clearance, and a prominent heel strike, bringing the patient through a safe and efficient cycle of gait. Therapist 2's role is to support the patient's body weight to prevent falls and maintain stability. This is a very simple form of assisted gait therapy. There are others such as weight-assisted treadmill training and robotic-assisted gait retraining. We use this technique because it is an inexpensive form of treatment while still being effective. This concludes today's episode of Gate Over It. As always, I'm your host, Hugh Strokev. Good night and happy walking. <laughs>